Hello everyone, this is a review on the Sophia the First Magical Talking Castle. Uh, this is uh, Disney Junior's uh, newest show, Sophia the First. And this is really one of the first toys that came out for it, which is the Talking Castle. As you can see right here, it's a full castle that is very similar to what you see in the show. And a lot of the, uh, the parts from the show are actually in here. So you can see even on the stained glass, you see Sophia riding Maximus. And then you flip the stained glass around, and you see the actual stained glass that Philip broke in one of the episodes. So it is true to the show. We're going to look at the toy and see if this is maybe something that would interest you, your family, your little girl, or possibly your little boy. So uh, with that, let's go into the review and see what uh, we find. Okay, with the set you have this little um, stand. And how it works is that you have a little strike plate and a strike plate. And if you watch, you'll see a little light come on. We'll turn it on. And you'll see a little light come on if you push them together. Now, it doesn't work perfectly. I love my new family. Let's all play a game. Let's go on an adventure. Like that. But even with Clover which is right here, if you put him on. Let's all play a game. And sometimes he's Clover. Let's go outside and have a And sometimes he's Sophia. I love to play with my friends. Let's go outside and play a game. I love to talk to my animal friends. So that's a little disappointing that it doesn't always work. Now, this point number two with the set is if you look right here, this pushes in and pulls out for a picnic scene, which is great, lots of fun. But the actual surface is just paper, and not even really cardboard, it's thick paper, if anything. So the scene here can be ruined if you get any water on it. And the same thing with the second surface here. And you'll see this has a bit of a curve to it, so it makes some of the characters a little difficult to uh, stand. Um, so this is Sophia's bedroom. Obviously you have the top floor here with the balcony, but uh, it is a little disappointing that this is curved and, and it can get ruined with water. Okay, looking at accessories, one of the things that comes with is Clover on a bed. So Clover can spin around and hide. Now it's a pressure fit, so it's actually can be tough for little children to do it. But you can see that he can hide. Now it doesn't work perfectly every time, which is another kind of sad thing, is the quality on it seems to be lacking. And this actually fits up in the window. So in the TV show you see Sophia... Um, sitting in her window talking to her animal friends, and that's true here too. And, and that's a good point, that the, the, the place that is pretty true to the show. Um, my daughter watches it quite a bit, so I've become pretty familiar with all the episodes. So in one of the episodes, Philip break, breaks a stained glass window. If you look behind this candle opera, you'll see that that's the actual picture that was in the window that he broke. So kind of a neat feature. Now, another thing is, is that there's a lot of smaller accessories. So you can see here a little chandelier, or candle opera, I'm sorry, wine glasses, plates, and such. And uh, so if you have a little child, that might be a uh, an issue, because those can get not only lost, but they can go into the mouths too. So uh, keep that in mind for small kids. The doors do open and close right here, but unlike some of the other play sets that we have, the there's no doorbell. That's one of the things my three-year-old daughter really likes is playing with the doorbell and having the characters go in and out, but that's not really an option here. So uh, next we're going to see how this thing puts together and, and some storage things with the playset. One of the nice things is that the table can, can kind of convert into a little storage area. So you can store everything. You push this forward and you can get it to store pretty well, reasonably well, I guess. Now in terms of the overall um, Assembly. It took me about a half hour. The instructions are actually pretty good, um, but uh, it, it, there are a lot of things to put together on it. So do a lot about a half hour for the overall construction of the playset itself. Um, if you look in the front, so this is the back of the castle. Let's spin it around so you can see, now see the front. And again, it's nice purple doors, and it's a. Uh, Pretty fun. Again, it, the assembly took 30 minutes, so you wouldn't want to wait. Santa wouldn't want to wait to the very last minute on Christmas Day, but um, it won't be too difficult to, to assemble. Okay, 
let's talk about a couple more things. One is the actual Sophia Dow that it comes with. You'll see that she moves around real well. She can bow, turn the, the wall. The dial is actually the best design part of the whole playset itself. So that does work really well. And my daughter's favorite feature is that how she actually goes up and down the stairs. You have a little arm right here. She presses in into it like so. And then she can be moved up and down the steps. So that's kind of a, a fun addition to it. Now there are obviously other things that you can buy for the playset. One is the Sophia bed. And so you can get the Sophia bed, but it doesn't fit that well into the castle. Which is kind of strange. Um, it does fit, but um, you have to take the other bed out. And you can't put it in like that. You have to put it in sideways. Which seems to kind of defeat the purpose. But this is an additional... Um, accessory that you have to buy and uh, doesn't come with it so my overall impression on it I'm gonna give it three and a half stars mainly because my daughter really likes Sophia um, there are some quality control improvements that can be made and hopefully by the time Christmas rolls around they will be made making this thicker um, improving the sensitivity of the pad here and make it more true to the character that's on it those would be huge first steps to it so um, and, and really this whole platform if it, it needs to be bigger um, if it was bigger, um, I think at this price point, it would make it seem like a little bit better value than what it truly is. So I'll, I'll be actually a little generous and give it three and a half stars just because of the fun factor that my daughter has. And frankly, she doesn't care that this is paper and not hard cardboard. So three and a half stars. Um, definitely it would be something that you would look for if you have a son or daughter that's interested in Sophia the First. But if you're looking just for a new playset or new dollhouse, you may want to just keep looking.